you don't know. I am. Do you have any questions about what you're seeing? No, yeah, what, what am I, what I'm, I'm not in the industry to really that. So I find that it's, it's basically not okay over here. Like, mass production and that. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit, but I'm, I could be educated. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. You have an open mind about it. I mean, for, for me, um, the, the, the I supported these industries for the first 32 years of my life. Oh, yeah. And I wish I'd known sooner. That's part of the reason I'm out here today. So, um, uh, I mean, what you're seeing on the screen is standard practice in the UK. So you've got cramped conditions. And um, I don't know, do you have any companion animals at home? Like a dog or a cat? Yeah, so if you imagine you take these chickens out of the situation, you put cats into it. I think that's, that's what kind of makes the connection for me. Um, a lot of this happens behind closed doors. So, I mean, someone might uh, might argue that maybe the meat in the industry, for, like the production of it, it isn't good. But maybe, like maybe some people would argue that you need meat for um, like don't get all, all your like nutrients or stuff. Yeah. Like, I know, I know, I know. I've heard vegans like, uh, say that you can get a, a lot. You can get all your ingredients and stuff that you need. You just have to eat, eat a lot more, don't you? But a lot wider sort of stuff. You have to eat a lot wider diet. Am I right? Yeah. I I think I think regardless of if you're vegan or not, yeah, yeah. you can still be healthy or unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. I think by being vegan, you're more likely to be healthy. In my experience, oh, yeah, yeah. before I was vegan, I used to have, eat a very you know boring that smother smothered with like cheese and sour cream and stuff. Now I eat a very diet and that, that, my energy levels increased because of it. I, I think those considerations you're mentioning are all good ones that we should consider anyway. Um, I mean, looking at I mean, if you imagine like our dogs and cats at home being in these situations, it's, well, I think it's, it's horrible it's, even if it is if it's any animal just to have a life that's treated that badly. It is, it doesn't make a difference to me. Like just cats or pigs. It's still bad that they're treated that way. But some people would argue, like, um, some people would say, like, you know, it's just just the way it is. I need to eat meat because that, that's, you know, I, I don't have money yeah. to just keep buying. Okay. So that is the way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have money to be healthy and stuff. People, some people. Say. Like, I used to be, I, I used to be vegetarian. Brought up vegetarian. Sort of, like, when I got a little bit older, I decided to eat meat. But I'm, right now, I'm sort of thinking, I've been questioning going back to being vegetarian and maybe even trying to like eat it or something like that. But, yeah, I've also had my friends say to me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to feed death into your body, you feed life into your body. Like, your body is, so I do agree with that. Oh, that's, that's awesome. It sounds like you kind of come full circle, yeah. But also, I watched this video, and it was saying about how um, human, human beings, like the human race, the way evolution has happened, like, like, like back when we, like, we were less evolved, we evolved through eating meat and like, cooking meats. And like, our brains, like, it's been, apparently it's been proven that our brains have like, actually developed and gotten bigger through cooking meats and like, like finding like different ways of getting different meats and like cooking cooking bones and getting the bone marrow because it's like nutrient density like food density or something like that. Yeah and I've read similar things that yeah, yeah. say that it's plants that um, I think yeah. I think what's important is is we're here now. Yeah. I in, in my I've looked into this for the last four years. I've yet to come across a nutrient um, that you can't get um, from plants. Um, so, I mean the one thing that you do um, that uh, there's B twelve that is good to supplement. Yeah which sounds like you're already in the know. Um, that's the one thing that's a product of modern sterilization because it's a bacteria found in dirt. So and then after a certain age you have to supplement it anyway. So vegans are really just kind of doing it a few years earlier. Um, but besides that, you can absolutely thrive and, and not have to contribute to these systems. I mean, they're showing some uh, cows here. Are you very familiar with the dairy industry? No, but I don't drink milk myself. What about like I cheese, cheese or? I eat cheese, but I don't, I don't like milk. So. Yeah. But I know, I know it's bad because they take away the car from the mother. Yeah. Um,
What do you think about that? Kill the craft, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, I think that's horrible. Bro. And I think if you can survive, with, look, it's just it's just that some people, I, I think they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to see past the fact that they need they feel like they need milk. So yeah. They need meat. They need a steak. They need that sort of stuff in their diet. There needs to be like, I don't know, don't people see this and think like, you're just trying to guilt trip them or something. Yeah. Like, I, but, but at the same time, like, I think obviously like, yeah, it's horrible that like, lives are being treated like this. I just think, I don't know, you need to find a better way of like, getting other people, because many people, as you will know, just walk past this. Yeah. And it's up for each person yeah, to explore us on our own. Our, our purpose here is to share what's happening, and then people can do, um, obviously people do what they choose to from that. There's a, a free program called Challenge 22, where you're put into a Facebook group full of other uh, vegan curious people, um, and you're basically, there's a team of mentors, there's actually a team of nutritionists, so if you have any questions questions about um, surviving and, and thriving without contributing to all this. Yeah, I'm interested. There, yeah. Is that something you'd be interested yeah, yeah, to sign up? I, I've got um, a phone on me if you want to give it a go now. Um, we'll see, I'll, take, I'll take down the, um, the name of it. I'll take yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to, it's just really just the email address is the main thing. Or I can give you the... the do you want to give that a go? What's, or? It, what's it called? And I'm, I'll look it up online. Okay. Um, it's it's called vegan22.com. Vegan22. Yeah, and I'll give you a card as well. Um, this, this card takes you loads of information. It sounds like you've got a really uh, open mind on the subject, which is awesome. And the, the must-see section has loads of documentaries that I know I'm really glad I watched and to just inform myself more. Topic. Well, awesome, mate. Glad nice talking to you. Yeah, so that was the interview. In my opinion, they are in the contemplation phase, and it's my hope that as part of our chat um, and the subsequent reflection, that they'll move into that preparation or action stage um, as they've acknowledged the issues, and it's really just kind of moving them towards acknowledging that there's something they can do about it. So I really focused on building their support network and helping them get the tools in place so that they're ready um, um, to give veganism a, a, a good shot. Um, if you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too, and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.